Okay guys, so I can't stand this anymore. <laughs> I have way too much stuff here and I need to go through all of it. So I have a bunch of things that are unopened over here, samples, lipsticks, tons of stuff over here. I have on top tons of lip products here, concealers, mascaras, eyeliners, lip liners and eyebrows, palettes, tons of them. They're all actually not even in there. Um, even more like chubby pencils and liquid eyeliners, which I guess could go with the regular eyeliners. Some ColourPop lippies, some more lips, more palettes, extra stuff, some perfume, just whatever I could fit up there. Then I have, this was supposed to be like my everyday makeup drawer, but it didn't really work out like that because I just, I don't know, I didn't like it like that. But here I have some just different products. So next in the second drawer down, I have, and it's actually like a silverware tray. It works out pretty well, but I've got a bunch of ColourPop shadows that I need to go through. Some sample eye primers, eyebrow stuff, um, contour palettes, some small eyeshadow palettes, some single eyeshadow, some pigments, and these are actually... Um, Oops, oh, sorry. These are actually liners that I got from Tarte. One's in the color and then one's in a brown. So I haven't tried those ones out yet. Third drawer down I have, I tried to like split this in half like this. So I have all my highlighters over here and then all my face powders, whether it's a like compact um, foundation or if it's just like a, you know, setting powder of some sort. Um, some of these I literally like, these are brand new in the package. I haven't even opened them. So we'll go through all of those. I've got tons of highlighters. If you guys know these drawers, they don't pull out really all the way either. So I've got tons of stuff in the back. So on this side I have blushes. These little duo palettes, I put them in the drawer where I use the side the most. So this one I obviously use the blush the most. This one, I just don't like it. I don't know. We're going to see about that. And then I have some stuff underneath there. Then I have bronzers over here. There's actually a bunch of them missing that I got to put back before I declutter and go through them. This drawer is just tons of palettes that I literally haven't even opened yet. Literally, just tons of palettes. This is from the blush bar right there or the brush bar sorry right there and then just tons of palettes that i gotta go through then this one here is perfume samples lip samples lip products unopened products some um, like setting sprays facial sprays hair stuff primers this is foundations here and um uh primers as well foundations and primers in here i need to go through that for sure much better so that was the first big drawer second big drawer is a whole bunch of makeup removing wipes all these ones are from the dollar store actually and then i have backups of my favorite neutrogena one this one's almost done this one i just used for taking off swatches i've got a whole bunch of nail products here which i need to include the rest of them here more makeup remover wipes, more palettes, more, more palettes, tons of stuff, ColourPop stuff back there. I've just got tons of stuff I need to go through, so I'm going to go through all that. Then I've got more stuff in here. This is actually a full drawer of like tons of samples. This is all my Buxom lip glosses and such um, and other lip products that I've just not been able to use right now. I've got a bunch of samples. I've got a bunch of extra facial washes that I use all the time. Okay, so this is like my sample drawer that I'm just shoving stuff in here because I don't use it right now. My very bottom drawer. These are all my Coastal Scents shadows that I bought for 98 cents a piece. I've got my refill 
big refill of the Belief Aqua Bomb. This is amazing. I've got an extra Z palette back here. I don't even know where I got that from. Um, some extra ColourPop stuff that haven't been opened yet. More ColourPop stuff. Uh, yeah, a bunch more ColourPop stuff. An extra Vaseline Lip Therapy. These are amazing. I'm using the Rose one right now and it's amazing. And then more, this is like a lip scrub. This stuff's pretty good. And then more ColourPop stuff. So this is actually a pretty wasted space for a drawer, I feel like, but I need to go through it. So there's that. Yes, this is a close-up of all my stuff in here. I've got tons of tons and tons of stuff. All these lip products. Sorry, the lighting is terrible over here, but we'll make it better when we go through it. So then I have that <laughs> and then here's like my, my everyday makeup table that I just need to organize back into its own places. This is actually my stool under here, but I've been putting this blanket on here to boost me up a little bit and it's more comfortable. This is my son's Star Wars blanket. And then down here I have my ColourPop stuff for my giveaway, all organized, ready to go for whoever wins that. Make sure you check that out. I will leave a link to that video in the cards above and below. This is, what is this? Oh my God, more samples. More samples from boxes and um, Walmart and Target and stuff like that. This is all my ColourPop stuff from the haul. I'm actually gonna be whipping that out and trying it. I've got a bunch of drugstore makeup here. This stuff, some of this stuff in here is for makeup bag giveaway. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, I did a mystery bag makeup bag giveaway, I guess, and I'm gonna keep that going, but not right now. <clears throat> here I have an empty box, some Clorox wipes, because I like to wipe this down and make it nice and clean and fresh looking. I've got my makeup bag that I actually use all the time. This is by Buxom. I just love this because of the little handle. It's like a buxom gloss. How cute is that? And then I just haven't taken off the tag, but I use this all the time. This is my bin for my products to use up in 2017. If you guys wanna check that out, I have that and a couple updates. So I'm gonna be doing an update at the end of October because I've been using up products like crazy in that. Then in here, I just have some extra stuff couple palettes I haven't tried out yet. These ones I love and I used for my last eyeshadow look. I have tons of brushes here. This one I don't know what to do with because it's dual ended and I use both ends so it's kind of annoying me right now. Then I have my little mini tripod over here. My big body brush by e.l.f. I love that thing especially because I've been wearing tank tops again. I've got a bin of brushes here. Yeah, so that is my makeup collection at this point in time, and I need to go through it. And I just figured I'd take you guys along with me. So this is my full before, I should take that off. There we go. This is my full before of everything. <laughs> and I'm really excited to see like a before and after of how everything looks and how organized it is. My ideal point of this video is to try to get everything to fit in this Alex dresser. I plan on getting a desk and I'm going to put the desk right there in that spot so that spot all needs to be cleaned out but I want to get everything to fit inside this Alex dresser or you know inside and on top here. So that is my goal. I am going to work on that. So <laughs> wish me luck. Come along with me. Like these videos if you love declutters and cleanouts and collection videos because we're going to get into it right now. So here we go. So I think this is all of the eyeshadow palettes that I have, which is the most ridiculous thing ever because nobody needs 
this many eyeshadow palettes, especially when I don't do my makeup every single day. I do it often now, but I don't do it every single day. So I'm gonna put everything aside and then start doing piles of keep and get rid of. So let's start taking it all off. Okay, now we are ready. So I'm gonna sort it by brand, I think, just to make it easier in my life because I can tell you right now, these are all my Lorac Pro palettes, Mega Pro palettes, I'm sorry, Mega Pro palettes. These are all staying. I have all four of them and they will stay in my collection. Then I have my two Lorac I have the unzipped gold and the unzipped palette. These are amazing. Um, I will not be getting these out of my collection. These will be kept. I have my Ocean Sunset palette, which I love very, very much. Then I have these two pro palettes. This was, oh, look, I have a little, yeah, we can probably throw this away. But this was actually my very first high-end palette purchase I've ever made was the original Lorac Pro palette and I am keeping this. I will probably keep this one forever since this was my very first high-end palette. But for right now, this one's perfectly fine to use still. And then I have the, I don't know why I keep this in here for some of them and I don't keep them for others. But anyways, this is the Lorac Pro 3 palette. I do not have the two. I'd like to pick it up at some point, but this is the three. Keeping that. Throw these away. I'm a little bit torn on this one. I think I might... I don't know. I'm going to set this aside for right now and decide what I want to do with it. It's such a beautiful palette. Oh. But... I don't know, I feel like I'm never gonna use this. So with all my other palettes that I have, I think I'm gonna put this in the bye-bye pile. It sad, saddens me to say I paid full price for this. I love Lorac shadows, but I just, I don't think I'm gonna get any use out of this. I don't think I'll ever choose this one over any of these other ones that I have here. Just the pro formula is just amazing. So I think I am gonna get rid of this one. Okay. California Dreaming palette. This is gonna go by. I'm gonna put the no pile or the get rid of pile over here. All these palettes, since I know for a fact I'm keeping all my other Lorac palettes, these are gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> okay, next I'm just grabbing stacks at a time. So let's get a few more up here from over here. So this is an IBY Beauty palette. It's like that mini trio palette, actually. I threw the uh, little I don't even know the little brush away because it was terrible but this palette is really amazing i actually bring this with me when i don't really want to do like a full eye look but i want to have some really nice shadows to bring i put this one all through the crease and then i put this one or this one on the lid and then this one's always my inner corner beautiful beautiful palette definitely keeping that that's such a good like travel size palette then I have my Tarte Rainforest and the Sea Volume 2 palettes. Very dirty. I use this all the time. Got it in a boxy charm a couple months ago. Love this. Keeping it obviously. This is my Nubian or the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. Love this one. The neutral colors in it are beautiful. Honestly, I don't think they could go wrong with this palette. It's fantastic. Okay, so these are the two Studio On The Go makeup palettes. This one is in the shade Cool Down, and it is a bunch of cool colors. I really, really like this one. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this in the winter time here. So this is a stay. These makeup palette, or these shadows are really great too. And I believe this one is Warm Up. So this is all warm tone shades, neutral palette, beautiful, beautiful colors. These are really great. They're expensive though. I think these are $50 if you go to buy them. Next, I'm going to go with my Too Faced palettes. This is the Sweet Peach palette. You guys have seen this a million times. Love this one. Keeping it, obviously. 
chocolate bar, Too Faced palette, obviously keeping this one as well. Love these. This is my Naked Urban Decay palette. Love this one as well, keeping that. This is one I'm not quite sure of. I actually have only swatched a few shades in here. I've never actually used it, but this is the Urban Decay Vice Limited Reloaded palette. palette and I'm not sure if I want to keep this one or I don't know. The colors in it are so beautiful though. Let me, um, I don't know how I feel about this yet. I'm gonna set that one just aside just for a minute. This one is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. Obviously, this one's staying in my collection. If you know me, I love that one. This is the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. I love this one. I actually haven't used it enough, but plan on using more. That one's staying. This is my Morphe 35F palette. This is the one with like one row of <laughs> one row of mattes and then a whole bunch of shimmers. These shimmers are actually super duper good. Like they're so buttery and creamy. Like, I mean, look at that. Look at that. Like seriously, stop it. And then these mattes are so nice. Like they don't swatch very well, unfortunately, but going on the lid, they are so nice. So. Definitely keeping this one. This was my very first Morphe purchase ever. That's staying. So I'm gonna put all these aside in the staying pile. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of much, like I said, but these are all staying. Okay guys, so next palette I have is the Shan XO, and this is like the lipstick palette, which the plastic's not even off of it yet. I think I peeled it aside to check out one color, but I'll never use those, but I will use these, which apparently I shoved this back down because I wasn't sure how I felt about it. But these ones are actually really nice, guys. And this is a BH Cosmetics palette, so it's really affordable. But look at this shimmer. Like, I'm obsessed with that shimmer. This is such a good crease, or um, outer V color for me and then this one's such a good crease color like that orangey color I don't know it's just so awesome I really do like this this is more of like a duo chromey like that red green duo chrome it's actually a very cool color so especially for BH cosmetics I'm gonna keep this for now and I'm gonna get it out a couple times and see if I really like it and then decide then but this is gonna stay for now. Next I have my Pure Cosmetics Soiree Diaries. You guys know it's one of my last favorites video. This one's amazing. I broke my mirror, but love this palette, use it all the time. Then I actually used this the other day. This is the Illuminate palette by, from BH Cosmetics by Ashley Tisdale. And I keep this on there because it has the shade number or shade names on it. But I used this the other day and I fell in love with it and I was gonna get rid of it and then I was like no I'm gonna use it one time and see how I like it and I loved it I got such a nice eye look I got a million compliments when I wore this eye look so I'm gonna keep this one around for a little bit longer then I have my BH Cosmetics Carly Bible um, this one's amazing if you guys have the bigger one that's awesome but since I already had the little one I didn't feel the need for the bigger one as well, but seriously, look at that shimmer. This is supposed to be a highlight technically. There's no way that would ever be a highlight on me. If you have really deep, rich skin tone, that would be a beautiful highlight. But even these matte colors, they're very, very good. BH Cosmetics um, matte colors are a little bit chunky, but they work on the eyes. And then let's swatch two more. Look at that, look at that shimmer. These shimmer colors, like they just can't go wrong with them. Like I don't know what is going on, but see how like they start patchy, but when you start blending them in, they work really well. So I'm gonna keep this one. I thought I might get rid of that one, but I forgot how much I like those highlight shades and the shimmer shades in this palette. And I don't know, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, it's being cut. So next I have a bunch of 
unopened shadows here or eyeshadow palettes. I have the Naked 2 and the Naked 3 both unopened. I am gonna keep those. I have the Nude Tude and Nude Dude palettes. I'm gonna keep both of those. I have not tried out any of these, so I definitely wanna keep them. Then I have the Balm Voyage, which has one of my favorite highlighters in here. If you guys check out my favorites video, you'll know which one I'm talking about. This one's definitely gonna stay. And then I have this Meet Matrimony, and I believe, I wanna say this is the original one. I don't, I don't remember exactly, but here are the shades there. This is gonna be perfect for fall for me, so I'm definitely gonna whip this out in the fall time. This is my Treasure Chest palette by Mello. I did a tutorial and like a review on this palette. I am going to declutter this palette or get rid of it. Um, I have tons of these shades. Like these shades aren't new in my collection and I don't love these shadows enough to say that I wanna keep it. I mean, they are really good, but I just don't love it enough to say that it's something that I should keep in my collection and use. I don't know. I don't know, now that I'm swatching them again, I really like it. Like, look at that, it's so pretty. But I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, two down. Is that enough? Just to be fair about this, you guys, this is more of a collection video than a declutter, but I did wanna get rid of the few things that I knew I wasn't gonna wanna put back in my collection. Okay, I have these, shoot. I have these three Too Faced little tins. I have the Cat Eyes, which I actually have not used. I have the Too Faced Sugar Pop, which I also have not used. And I have the Too Faced Country Palette. This was my first Too Faced palette I ever purchased. And I love this one. Definitely gonna keep the Country Palette. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this Cat Eyes palette. I'm never gonna use it. It's beautiful, but I'm never gonna use it and I got it on sale, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This Too Faced palette. See this blue, I just can't get over this blue. Look at this blue. Like, look at that. That's like the most beautiful blue ever. I've gotta do a look with that blue. And then the orange in here. I've only swatched this palette, I've never actually used it. Let's try one more, let's do the pink. Like, okay, let's do the lavender too. Like, these colors, I'm picking up too much on my pinky. These colors, the blue, orange, pink, and lavender, I just don't have those in any other palettes, especially that blue. I think I'm gonna keep this one as well. Yep, I'm gonna keep that one. Then I have a couple palettes by Coastal Scents. You guys saw all those singles. This, I just put together like a peach type palette. Um, I'm gonna keep all of these, and I believe this one's just empty. Let me see. Oh no, I filled this one. I filled this one. I'm not sure what I was going for on this, but I just kind of put some shadows in it that were falling out of the boxes. So definitely gonna keep my Coastal Scents shadows. Then I have the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place. Amazing palette, definitely keeping this. Check out these swatches, you guys. These are amazing, look at that. Oh my God. Okay, a couple more. Seriously, I just can't handle these. Like, these shades, they blend so well too, which makes them even better. Like, it makes me love them better. Look at that. Look at that color payoff. And the blendability of these is fantastic. Definitely keeping this one. I'll have to put it next to my other one. Then I have this palette by Real Her that we also got in a boxy charm. This one's number two, Do Your Squats. And it is a very neutral palette. I've done two looks with this palette so far, and it was really, really nice. These colors are super blendable. Like, even that cream, like that actually shows up on my skin. Like. You guys see that? Cream shadows don't show up on my skin at all. So I really do like this palette. The two times that I have used it, I've actually really loved it. So I'm gonna keep that one. This one is a, it's actually a concealer palette by um, Coastal Scents. And I think I've only ever swatched this palette. I don't think I've ever actually used it. These concealers are actually 
pretty creamy but I don't ever use like concealers like that. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'll probably sanitize this for sure before I pass it along. Then I have this Ofra Pro palette. This one we also got in a boxy charm. So these six shadows here are all the Ofra shadows that actually came in this palette here. So let me just give you a couple of swatches of these. These are really, really nice. They're a bit drier in the formula, so like some of them just don't show up as well, like that one. Um, but these are really super nice. I don't know, I feel like I'm never gonna use these. I'm not exactly sure. These are from the M Cosmetics, right here, like a little mini palette that I got. These ones are from like a Korean beauty palette that I got. Um, they're actually very nice though. Let me swatch a few of them for you. I can't really get a good swatch just because of the way they are in the palette and they're not magnet or magnetic. But these are really actually super duper nice. I don't know, cause I wanna kinda get rid of a few of these. Let me get my other ones of these out. This is Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen by Tarte. Obviously it's still in the box, I have not used it. I am gonna keep it though because I want to use it. So this is a little Ulta mini palette. I've only swatched this palette, I haven't used it, but looking at it, I know these colors are beautiful, but I am going to get rid of it, pass it on. Okay, so here is my Makeup Geek shadow. This is in the color Infatuation. Obviously keeping that one. I'm not sure what these shadows are. Ofra Gold Rush, let's see. This is in Bedrock by Makeup Geek. And this one is in Motown by Makeup Geek. I feel like I'm gonna definitely keep those ones. Let me see. So this must have been the M Cosmetics blush here. It's really nice actually. It's very shimmery though, and I don't do shimmery blushes, so I'm gonna pass that one along. See, these ones are also Oprah ones, but I did not label them. I think I'm gonna keep the black one. The black one's super duper nice. This one was really nice too. Yeah, that one's gonna be super nice for like an inner corner. And then I think I'm gonna get rid of the rest of these. Yep, these are all gonna go bye bye. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this little palette. I wanna get this palette back, but I don't wanna take all those out of there, so I'm not quite sure. This is in my products to use up in 2017 video. You guys know that. The only colors I've been using are this one for a transition shade. I don't like that one on my cheeks. This one for setting my makeup. I use these ones once in a great while. This I hate. This is the Snow Bunny, I believe. Let me see. Yes, the Snow Bunny bronzer, it's terrible on me. I just don't like it at all. But I'm gonna keep this just because I'm doing a, you know, pan that palette type of thing on that and I'm trying to get rid of it. Then I have this Naked Cosmetics Trio here. These colors are really great, but I just, I don't know, because I'd like to depot these. I think I'd be able to do it. It looks like I can do it, but let me just give you a swatch of these. Like these are really, really good. Like look at that orange. That's just, I don't even know what to say. This green is really good too. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one for now. This blank palette I'm actually gonna keep as well. These colors are beautiful, perfect for the summer, perfect for fall, perfect for any time because they're all pretty much neutrals except for this cranberry shade, which let me swatch that cranberry shade right next to that other one. Look at the difference. Look how much brighter this one is from the Blink palette. It's like a pink cranberry, and this one's more like a purple cranberry. So definitely gonna keep that. This, I'm gonna get rid of. This is the M Cosmetics by Michelle. Is it Fan? Pan? I don't know. But I've only ever swatched any of these. It comes with the brush and this. And what you do is you shove this in the corner and then you can depot the item. So 
These are actually really, really good. I just, I never touch this. It's so bulky and big. And there's like the lip colors in with the shadow colors and the blushes. And I don't want to get my shadows all over my lip colors. You know the drill. So this is gonna go bye-bye. Let's decide on this Urban Decay Vice Palette. Gosh, I'm trying to look at a color that maybe I don't own already. Let's look at this. What is this color? Hot Pants. Oh, it's super nice. Oh, and I did like a monochrome pink look the other day too. That would have been super nice for. What about this Swallow color? Oh my God, that's such a pretty gray. Okay, stop it. This is Moonflower. Definitely got that somewhere. Um, let's see, this one's Midnight Cowboy, which I know is a famous Urban Decay color. That one's beautiful. Let's try oil slick, this dark black shimmery. Oh, God, that was super chunky. Sorry. Um, that one's really cool though. Like, okay, I'm gonna keep this one for now. I talked myself back into keeping it. I almost got rid of it at a different point too, and I've talked myself into it, but I haven't actually used it. So the next time I do a declutter like this, you guys hold me to it. If I don't use this, I'm gonna declutter it. But right now, I'm gonna keep it. So at this current state, I'm only decluttering, decluttering a few things. So I'm gonna declutter, declutter this Lorac California Dreaming palette, this Mellow Treasure Chest palette, the Cat Eyes palette, the Concealer palette, this Ulta Beauty palette, this Ofra Pro palette with all these little singles in there, and this Michelle Fan, Michelle Fan M Cosmetics palette. That's going bye-bye. These are all gonna go bye-bye. I'm only getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items here. But like I said, this is more of a collection video than a declutter. So yeah, I feel pretty good about that actually. I feel like I kind of honed in what I wanted. So I am gonna show you what it looks like now. Okay guys, so I'm totally showing you my floor right now. I'm sorry the lighting's terrible, but I have them all stacked up right now. These are all of the palettes that I'm keeping. Way too many for any single person that would ever need, but I'm keeping them. I just, I am, sorry, it's just gonna happen. But I'm really excited about all of these. Now I feel like I'm gonna really reach for some of the things that I haven't used, and yeah, I'm gonna kind of organize them in a way that, you know, makes sense to me now instead of just putting them wherever I feel like. And yeah, I feel pretty good about this. Super excited, like I said, this wasn't really much of a declutter video, but more of a collection video. And I'm super excited I got rid of some of these. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate everything. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you wanna see more collection slash declutter videos from me. I plan on doing my whole beauty collection because then I can clean everything out and show you guys a clean collection over there. But make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for more videos from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.